Okay, hi there, my name is Nick and today I'm going to teach you how to give up smoking the easy way and yes, by my estimation, there is actually an easy way to properly give up smoking for good forever uh, in a way which is not at all painful psychologically and you don't get severe withdrawal symptoms. What you see before you is the device that I've used to assist me with my nicotine replacement therapy um, which is um, self-imposed nicotine replacement therapy. This is a device called an electronic cigarette or these days they're often called electronic nicotine inhalators okay and these are you know commercial devices you, you can buy them yourself and the purpose is to act in a similar manner to smoking tobacco it has a mouthpiece at the end there which you inhale what is essentially a vapor which is glycerin based all right either propylene glycol or indeed vegetable glycerin base which contains nicotine in suspension plus some flavoring in some cases all right this part of the electronic cigarette here contains a small heating element plus a what they call a metal bridge which is made of a kind of like a metal gauze a bit like um maybe like a, like almost like a stainless steel pan scour but much finer and not made from stainless steel made from a different metal okay and the nicotine in the cartridge which is attached to the mouthpiece then goes by a capillary action onto the metal gauze which then gets heated with the moment you inhale the main stem of the electronic cigarette or electronic inhalator is in fact a battery a rechargeable battery and you usually get um, a mains recharger with every single kit and every time you inhale from the mouthpiece, it triggers the electronics in the battery compartment here to send a current through to the heating coil to generate vapor which looks and feels very similar to tobacco smoke. Now, one thing you've got to bear in mind is that it doesn't always taste or feel just like tobacco smoking. It depends upon what type of liquid you're using. Now, I've taken these days to actually making my own. And I make them with standard regular glycerin that you can get from your pharmacy. This jar cost me less than one pound forty for two hundred milliliters. That equates to if I was just using that as the liquid without any without diluting it with distilled water that would equate to between 100 and 150 days worth of smoking now of course I am going to be diluting it with some distilled water to a ratio of approximately 50-50 okay so essentially that 200 milliliter bottle would make 400 milliliters of a flavorless nicotine less no zero nicotine smoking liquid all right uh, so that would equate to 200 days of me using this, you know, a, a minimum of 200 days of me using that as a smoking liquid. This is a different variety of glycerin, which comes from a specialist uh, herb and beauty supplier. And I've been buying little bottles from the pharmacy to be able to make up my own solutions, okay? When I make up my own, it does not feel the same as smoking regular tobacco. But there are, if I can show you here, uh, commercial companies out there that provide very good tobacco simulants. And some of them have the same feel on the throat as smoking. Okay, I mean just the same feel on the smoker's throat as smoking. And depending upon the style of electronic cigarette you get, the vapor that comes out of the mouthpiece can come out at different temperatures. Some of the smaller ones provide hotter vapor, so if it's important to you to actually have some heat when you're inhaling your smoke, then essentially get yourself a slightly smaller one. This one here is called the standard or 801 model. Okay, It's also called the pen style. Now, if you want one which provides you with a bit of heat, then maybe you want the 901, which is slightly smaller, or possibly even one of the super minis, which actually look like and are designed to look just like regular cigarettes. And in many cases, are the same size as your standard king size ordinary cigarettes that you can buy from your uh, tobacconist. Okay? Now, I'm just going to show you very briefly if I can open this jar with one hand. Just bear with me a second. Now, I'll try and. I'll just put the camera down for a second, okay? 
so you can still hear me. It's going to get this jar open so I can show you what the cartridges are basically made up out of, taking out some of the components of the cartridge so that you can see for yourself. Here we go. This is just what the mouthpiece looks like. Very simple. Little hole at the end there. I don't know if you can see right through it. Okay, there you go. And that fits onto the atomization chamber. Now into the black mouthpiece goes of this bit here. So, and this will actually contain your nicotine. It will contain your nicotine on a bit of special fiber, which will hold it in place by a capillary reaction. There is no hole on this part of the of the cartridge body, and the cartridge body just sits inside there. So you're not actually inhaling through the nicotine solution, right? The nicotine solution is held inside this, separate from your mouth, you're not breathing through. But at this point here where I put my thumb, okay, that will be in contact with the metal gauze bridge on the inside of the atomizer. And because it's in contact, there will be capillary action through the cartridge wadding, which is going to take the fluid onto the bridge which is just above the heating elements of the atomizer. Okay, so there will be a perpetual slow steady trickle of the fluid down onto the hot parts of the atomizer. These cartridges for the DSC-801 or standard will take one milliliter of liquid and that could last you for between one half and one whole day's worth of smoking. Okay. Now, I'll just uh, show you in here, in this jar, you may be able to see it. I've got little, what look like blobs of cotton wool. It's actually fluval grade 2, which is this kind of stuff used in fish tanks. And it's cut specially so it fits into the cartridge body itself. All right. This cut, these um, bits of fluval will get put into the cartridge and then the nicotine solution will be dropped on in place. Now some companies will actually provide you with syringes which you can use to inject the liquid right down to the bottom and fill up the cartridge with greater ease and greater accuracy. Um, I recommend the cartridge, uh, I recommend the injection method to fill up your cartridges definitely without the shadow of a doubt. You can always top up your cartridges with extra liquid. Now when people are thinking about the cost of this um, the cost of actually becoming an electronic cigarette or electronic nicotine inhalator smoker rather than a tobacco smoker. I mean, I come from a background of being a roll-up tobacco smoker, spending about um, 21 to 25 pound a week on quite a heavy rolling tobacco habit. Okay, I'm still saving approximately 50% or more, taking into account everything I've got to buy. I mean, these are batteries; they've got a finite life. And if you're using them every day, then yeah, you've got to replace them. So you've got to budget for that. Um, and it takes me about one quarter or three months, okay, um, to basically wear a battery out. The atomizers, they last about one month, but you'll want to change them and basically uh, have some kind of rotor system going so that you use up your atomizers one at a time. Uh, and that actually works uh, very well for me. So essentially an atomizer will last about a month, okay. Um, as far as buying cartridges, you can buy cartridges in packs of 50, as I've got here, or packs of 100. Um, and once you've once you've done that, hold on to them. You know, hold on to your old cartridges. Don't throw them away. Just clean them out, and then you can use them and stuff them up with your own liquids, whether they're some you made yourself, or whether they're there some you bought commercially. And basically, as this gives you the nicotine that you need. This can take you completely away from the 4,000 hazardous chemicals which are in smoking tobacco. It can take you away from the carbon monoxide. It can take you away from the tar completely. And so you're just inhaling glycerin. Now, some people do develop a mild allergy to forms of glycerin or propylene glycol. Uh, however, that is just that, that's not the, the majority. And if you get an allergy to the vegetable, the propylene glycerin propylene glycerol, then go over to vegetable glycerin-based e-liquids, and then basically you're going to be fine. 
seriously recommend this. I'm now a non-smoker for a grand total of four and a half months as a direct result of using this device. I'm saving a fortune and you know I'm a hell of a lot healthier and everyone remarks about how much healthier I look. So definitely get yourself an electronic cigarette if you want to consider giving up smoking using probably the, the most wonderful device out there on the market. Okay, So there you go.